Got you. Got you. Got you. Everything with James E is out these days. Good morning. We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, <laughs> come back tomorrow. So we are starting our day at the park. Um, it is 65 degrees. I feel like we keep on saying, we're gonna just soak up. You think that's funny? <laughs> we're just gonna soak up. Oh, yeah. You see Jamesy? You see James? Jamesy wanted to, wanted to get off. Um, we keep on saying we're soaking up this nice weather because it's gonna be cold here before we know it. And that is the truth. We just don't know. And I was joking around like, are we going to be saying this until December or January? Like it'll just stay that nice forever. Wouldn't that be something? And our next stop, Starbucks. We didn't end up going last night. So here we are. We got Peter a latte. I got a little frappuccino. Jamesy, a chocolate croissant. Mm. Oh, you're being so gentle and shush. <laughs> you're so sweet. We are done with our little Starbucks patio date. And now we got Muppets Christmas Carol on. I got I got Friday feels going. <laughs> Are you gonna get you? <laughs> yes, that's Jamesy's special drink. <laughs> what? Mommy shares most things with Jamesy, but we drew we drew a line at a frappuccino, but he got his own special chocolate milk drink and the Fancy cup, <laughs> Teddy. Teddy, he's so grabby. He's so grabby. He wants everything. <gasps> Ooh. We're having lunch at the counter. Teddy's a big kid in the high chair. Are you serious? <laughs> and I'm gonna make our dinner, or at least like prep the first bits of it. I'm making chickpea tortilla soup. And like most delicious things, it starts with onion, garlic, salt, and pepper. Just gonna cook this until it's nice and fragrant and the onions are um, see-through. Now in goes two cups of diced tomatoes. Just a little bit less than two cups. And as this gets bubbly, I'm gonna add in a packet of taco seasoning. The recipe I'm following calls for six cups of boiling water and two vegetable bouillon cubes. I don't have any bouillon, bou, bouillon, <laughs> that's a hard word to say, cubes. So I'm going to do four cups of boiling water and two cups of vegetable broth. Teddy going to town on this teaser. Maybe he's getting tea. Um, but I am going to add in the chickpeas. I like, I want it to be more of like a shredded chicken feel. Um, so I mashed it up before I, before I threw it in, but it's going to be two cans of, of chickpeas. Now this recipe didn't call for it, but I like putting tortillas in my tortilla soup. So there's like five corn tortillas in there. I've already kind of stirred them in. All right, this is really boiling. So I'm going to put a cup of rice uncooked inside and then cover it and let it cook for 20 minutes on low. So the rice can just cook straight in the soup. And then I'll probably just leave it on low and give it a good taste later because I think I'll probably have to add in some more spices. I'm just thinking because I didn't do the uh, vegetable bouillon cube that um, we want it to be flavorful. Look how dark 
our home looks. It's one in the afternoon. This is just our apartment is like, got that cozy vibe, but sometimes knowing it's gonna be five more months of this can be a little dreary. It's also a very rainy day this afternoon, but it's like nice. It's like Seattle vibes. Hello? Hello, Alexa? Hello? Hello? You're awfully cute. As usual, as one goes down for a nap, the other wakes up. <laughs> I'm gonna happy dance today because James went down for a nap. Pretty easy. Yeah, it was great. I'm gonna hang out with Mama while I work? Yeah, you're cute. You're cute. Look at your little sleep sack. Little rocket chip. Best way to start a Friday? When the fun's on the e eve of beginning, the verge of beginning. Beer, cheese, dip, onion, dip, all the dips, 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 dips. dips. I'm gonna get dip tattooed on my body. Please don't. <laughs> Shoes laced up. Doesn't feel quite the same as we were in Disney World this morning, Jamesy. We're running the 5K, but we're running a 5K today in support of all of our friends down in Florida. But not too bad. It's not sunny and there's a breeze, but nothing's cool about it. Like it's pretty humid. It does get humid in Chicago. So we're gonna go, go another like half mile forward and we'll turn around for our 5K. So what Sarah and I didn't plan about this whole we're gonna work out is what happens when uh, we both basically finish at the same time. I came home with James with three minutes left of Sarah's Peloton ride, so she's gonna hop in the bath, I'm gonna hang out with the kids, and then she'll come out after cleaning up and I'll go de-stinkify myself. In the meantime, hey. <laughs> hey. Alrighty, back to cooking tonight. This is how the soup turned out. I did have to add in more water. It, like the rice, chickpea and tortilla totally soaked up all the moisture and it was just total mush. So I added more water. I also added onion powder. And then this mix, you can kind of see here what is in it. Um, but it's nice cause it has like a, that like nice chicken flavor that you're kind of trying to mimic with the the chickpea tortilla soup and so yeah this is what i've added to spunk it up it's pretty darn good and then we'll also be having some soy chorizo tacos burritos uh oh i hear a sad jamesy everything is all right um i just put on olaf's frozen adventure um and I put on Christmas jammies too. Peter will have them on. We put away Halloween. It was living on our kitchen table. And so we couldn't decorate the table until that was done. So that's done too. So we're in the Christmas spirit. We'll probably have some chocolate milk and eggnog tonight. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have some chorizo something or others on the side. We got Delilah on. Oh, and this is just perfect. And finishing off the soup with lime juice. I do it all the time. Okay, what was the verdict on the soup? It's amazing. Jamesy? So Jamesy actually danced, but he's also he's dipping his chips in it. Yeah, I'd make it again, but I made a lot. Does anyone want to come over and eat some? I just I'm don't know. So full. I just don't know if I can eat anymore. <laughs> Teddy Toothy can. <gasps> I didn't even say it. Teddy got a tooth on the bottom. His bottom left tooth. <laughs> what are you talking about? Your brother's got a tooth now, Jamesy. Jamesy's been talking nonstop today. Literally from the moment he woke up. <laughs> Do you think he's gonna talk this much when he actually yeah, can say words? <laughs> if he's anything like us, he's just gonna not know when to stop. We forgot we needed last minute things for the chili cook off tomorrow. So me and James are going to his favorite place. Yes, I brought my child out in pajamas. 
but I also wouldn't do anything I wouldn't do to myself. So here we go. Grocery store in pajamas. Just talking to his new Mickey toy while in the jewel. We have our tomato and beans, and we just need apple cider and some sweet treat, and we're out of here. Quick trip. I'm gonna do a little gap haul because they're having crazy sales right now, and James has grown out of his shorts since the summer. He's now 2T, so he needed some shorts, and they were on sale. First up and most importantly, in my opinion, is this cute little sweater. I think this will be great for our trip to have in the backpack just to make sure like if it gets a little chillier at night that he has something nice and light to put over on the sandals his feet have grown since the summer so he's in size seven shoes now so these little little sandal guys and then all of these shorts which are typically like thirty dollars each were like six or seven dollars each so um that was an awesome deal. These are like little stripedy guys. These are a bit more like swishy and casual, navy blue. I actually think that these can be trunks too. Shout out to Cole Thompson who rocks these. Um, these types of shorts just remind me of him because they're they're so practical and useful. And so James is gonna take a page out of your book. Um, and then these are like stretchy but black jean shorts and then a pair of just classic distressed jean shorts and that's it also my friend um karen sent us this box and it had this cute mickey headband in it definitely gonna wear this in florida um but yes teddy you know he gets all of jamesy's clothes we're going to get his six month box this weekend and really start packing for florida we will be there in nine days today's friday right yeah nine days so we're in single digits with our countdown um and yeah james like now he's basically the same size as luca a lot of our hand-me-downs come straight from luca um but they're almost like basically the same size i think we we've gotten some things from luca that are 2t because he's like kind of still fits in it but has some new 3t stuff anywho um but yeah, I just had to go make sure he had shorts for Florida because it's still pretty toasty there. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. I think I have two little things coming for Teddy um, just because I like a, a couple of new fresh things for vacation, even though he's got all of James, like, obviously his clothes are, James's clothes are Teddy's clothes. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling excited. I got, I bought myself two shirts and I bought James a swimsuit. All right, we left Jewel without too many extras. Got a winter edition of Red Bull for Sarah to see if she wants to try. We got some flowers that James picked out for mom. Got a bottle of bourbon and some brownies. Ooh, the boys know the way to my heart. And it's winter edition fig apple. Last year was pomegranate, which was pretty amazing, but I'm excited. I love fig. Wow, what's this? Wow, what's this? And they got me flowers, how sweet. I'm so happy, I didn't even like, I remembered last year, like, you know how at the end of the vlog I do like last year, on last year's vlog, I remember there being a, a holiday Red Bull taste test. Um, and I was like, oh, I wonder, I, I wondered for like a little bit, I didn't really think about it much more after that. Pretty tasty. It tastes, tastes like the holiday time. That is good. I've been like cutting back on energy drinks, but these ones usually come in like the smaller can. So every once in a while, everything in moderation. I like to force, no Eve. I was gonna like to force Eve to have Christmas moments with me, but she ran away. Uh, I got approximately five different comments on my outfit when I went to Jewel. Um, anyone from like weird looks to like cute outfits to like, is it Christmas time or tis the season? I actually got a tis the season. I was like, respect. Got her. It's the grand finale of Olaf's Frozen Adventure. Stop ignoring me. I love you. Why don't you love me? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. 
Do I look like Bob Cratchit? You do look like Bob Cratchit. <laughs> this nightgown is floor like. It is. It's after midnight. We're exhausted. Yeah. It's a short week. Short work week, but we feel it. Yeah. Um, should we pause this, dude? Yeah, I'm watching this guy named Inez. He does real estate tours, and he's basically showing a gajillionaire's personal wilderness lodge tour. $25.9 million. Do you know where we were when we got a tour from someone named Inez? Marceline, Missouri. <laughs> we did. And Inez was so cool because she knew Walt Disney. Yes. Her, she, she's like well connected into the... Yeah, their family owns the house that the Disney family lived in. And then they're like involved in the community and the museum. But when we went to the museum, she happened to give us our tour. And then we had lunch with her daughter. And went to Chamber of That Commerce. was such a cool trip. If you want to see our pictures, because that was like a time where I took a ton of pictures, uh, I can send you my Facebook photo. Oh, that's exotic. I can do that, right? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Should we sign off? <sighs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. And it's good to be the weekend. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>